I believe AI will change learning forever. For me, Google changed everything. It helped me learn hard topics on my own and make sense of the world. But now ChatGPT has made that process even more efficient. Instead of just searching questions, I can now make my questions better. AI is not just a tool for answers, it's a tool for better questions, which is exactly what Einstein and Richard Feynman emphasized throughout their work. And I'm gonna dig into them and how we can learn from their experience to use AI in a better way for studying. For me, this is quite personal because I have dyslexia and so school felt like a bad joke. When I was diagnosed, they told me that I had a very high IQ in mathematics, but I really struggled with um, like reading and writing. And they said in the future, I would just need to get a really good personal assistant. Well, AI became that personal assistant and it's been one of the biggest tools that's impacted me to live a better life. But I think it's really important to use it in the right way. Let's get into the first section of this video. Why Einstein was right and why curiosity is the key to learning. So Albert Einstein really emphasised this point that curiosity is more important than knowledge. It was a simple insight that actually curiosity drives true learning and not just like memorising a load of facts. I don't know about you, but when I first started learning, I found it so difficult to just focus in class and just study and truly like understand the material. And like with my dyslexia, it just made it harder. I would just like zone out in class. But around COVID time, and I was like on my own and we had to like study with like Zoom and like online. And that was like the biggest moment that like flipped. And I started to like use self-directed learning and it completely shifted my approach through asking questions on my own. And like through doing that, through searching from the subject, through teaching myself, it made learning exciting because I felt like there was no need to worry about asking a stupid question all the questions were important. And also you could find an equally good answer to them anywhere. It builds this ability to get really excited and curious and this momentum builds because you are in control. And traditional education systems make you feel really out of control because there's this curriculum that you have to learn and you have to get through rather than if we flip it and let ourselves naturally implore of what we're curious about. I think that's a much better approach. I used Google back then, but now I'm like using AI and that process has made it so much better. And it's like this personal thinking buddy that helps you guide to make better questions. And this is the point. Asking the right question is crucial. Einstein said this, if I had an hour to solve a problem and my life depended on the solution, I would spend the first 55 minutes determining the proper question to ask. For once I know the proper question, I could solve the problem in less than five minutes. And this is amazing because AI can help you refine your questioning, right? By like questioning your own questioning and then asking ChatGPT to find new questions for you is gonna be the biggest step to implore curiosity and make massive breakthroughs. And it's this flip form from searching for the answer, but I think people should now search more for the right question to ask. And through doing that, you can find a solution in five minutes, right? And I really learned this through my third year engineering project where science is just the pursuit of unanswered questions. And it's this relentless pursuit for finding the better question to ask. And school is all about finding the better questions to ask and finding the solutions to it. That's like what past papers are, right? It's like questioning, you so that you know the solution to it but more importantly it's putting you in front of those questions so that eventually if you go down science and academia or whatever or even like business it's asking questions that nobody else has solved yet and i think that's like a massive thing that curiosity leads to the breakthroughs right albert einstein says this as well i have no special talent i am only passionately curious it's not that I'm so smart, but I stay with the questions much longer. Albert Einstein. And for me, that's the pursuit. It's the pursuit of finding the better questions to ask and questioning what ChatGPT answers, right? Just like we all need to learn to do with ourselves. The next section is about Richard Feynman and the Feynman technique and how you can use that within AI to make 
you learn things better. As I've just already emphasized is that I believe learning is all about getting better at asking the right questions. And that's what drew my attention to Feynman's technique recently. He believed in simplification of ideas, breaking them down so that anybody can understand them. No ego, no fear, like no judgment, just pure curiosity. And this is what I think AI is gonna change is humility, the ability to anybody to learn on their own without any judgment, right? And this has changed how I learned to code. I'm a mechanical engineering student and I'd like taught myself how to code these last two years and using ChatGPT, it was a, like a miracle, right? And it completely changed how I learned it because instead of memorizing all this syntax and all this conf like these rules, I could focus more on the bigger question of what I wanted it to do. And then I could actually understand what pieces of the code actually do and what's their function and what's important about them. And I think imagining what you want it to do is going to be the most important step. Deriving things from first principles to be able to explain in a prompt what you want the code actually to do. And that's going to be the future. People aren't going to need to code. They're going to want to have to have a vision of what they want that code to actually do. And for example, my project this year is on reinforcement learning. Um, at its core, it's very simple. Reinforcement learning is having a agent, you can think of it as a person making an action, and it learns from the results of its action and improves over time. So it's a bit like when you take a test, you write the right answer, you get the better result, and through that environment, you improve over time. And it's the same way that neural networks are used within chess to find the best move. Breaking that complex thing down to much simpler terms made it much easier because when I looked within the code, I could see, oh, this part is trying to, this is the agent, this is how I can optimize that agent, this is how I can create the environment in a better way for the for it to learn. Oh, there's two different types of reinforcement learning, multi-agent and single agent. And then when you question it and you break it down into simpler terms, it makes it much more digestible. And I used AI for this, right? I used AI to break down the code and show, like explain it to me in simple terms. That approach was crucial. Feynman's technique was crucial because I didn't understand the purpose of it in the first place. I think people get very overwhelmed with code because they think, they look at it and they're like, what the bloody hell does this mean? You know, but if you can just break it down into simple terms, you can actually understand the great importance of it. And I think AI is making learning more about thinking deeply, questioning and things, more about just knowing things, right? And it removes that ego from learning, the ability to be humble, to always ask questions that you don't know. And it helps you keep you in that student mode because there's always endless things to be ignorant about and constantly refine your questions of your own assumptions. The best professors I've ever had explain things simply. And something that I think AI is going to have a massive effect on within science is Feynman wasn't only just about questioning things. He was about visualizing it, imagining it, helping our imagination come to life. And through AI, I believe it's gonna help everybody's imagination come to life, you know? Um, in his BBC Horizon interview, he talked about the joy of discovery, how real understanding comes from when you see concepts in your mind, not just crunch numbers, right? I watched his fun to imagine series. He explained atoms and waves, not through formulas, but through vivid mental simulations, right? But what happens if those mental simulations that you're creating in your mind could be transformed into something that you can physically see, right? And that's what AI is doing today for us. It's turning imagination into something we can actually see. Like you look at NVIDIA today, how they're creating the robotic simulations to help make training of robots faster. It's crazy, right? If you look at the DNA and how we're using models to be able to shape it in a much quicker way, and it saved billions and billions of years of research time because of AI. And when you look at even my degree within CAD and like creating the best shape of a car, the most aerodynamic car, when we use AI, we're gonna be able to simulate the best aerodynamic solution for that. And it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna solve so many things. And it's gonna be amazing. I don't think AI will replace our thinking. I think it'll be more important than ever because we will need to imagine what we want it to do, you know? And one thing I learned is that you need to bound it in the truth. Put the source into AI, ask it about the source, it hallucinates and 
at that time, you really need to question it even more. That's why it's more important than ever. I believe the most smartest people will learn how to question things and visualize and imagine them before they're even in the world. Soon AI will make that a reality. So that's what I'm so excited about with Richard Feynman's technique and how it can be applied today. The future of learning won't be about how much you know, I've already emphasized, it's about how well you can question. The smartest people will be those who never stop questioning and can visualize and imagine the world that they want to become. I believe it's humility is the ultimate superpower and the ability to say, I don't know, you know, and relentlessly search for the better question or the answer. And with AI, there's always more to learn, right? And I think AI is gonna be that accelerator, not a replacement for thinking. But as I said in the beginning, we have this abundant information source, right? But focus is scarce. And But I still think that going deep into one thing and staying consistent with that one thing and trying to become so good at that one thing that you can't be ignored is going to be more important than ever. The ability to focus and relentlessly question the same thing and how keep your mind on that same thing. That's why I like going for walks and doing this thing where you like keep your mind on one certain thing it's like meditation but like keep questioning your own questioning and that helps you think better and the ability to stick on one path for a long period of time i think is going to be vital especially when it comes to learning i believe the future of learning what university will have to play i don't think it will be the holder of knowledge anymore it won't be able to like trap the knowledge and you have to pay this fee to get it i think it will be a place where i hope will improve mentorship, guidance, and more importantly, I think you need it to help the questions have meaning, have purpose and have depth and have the space and the freedom to pursue that, you know, and through university, I've had so much space to pursue my own questioning and my own thoughts and my own reasoning and science, right? And that gives me purpose every day. I believe the future of learning is personal. You're gonna have this personal assistant that helps you learn with you and it helps you interactively find what's the best way of learning for you. And Richard Feynman said this, he said, imagine if you could find something that helped the way that I understand it in my head, transform it into yours. And we have that now with AI, right? When you're trying to understand something, everybody understands it in different ways. So using AI in a way to transform that knowledge into somebody else's brain, AI is going to be the thing that transfers that better. And I think it's going to be this amazing thing to help more people learn things that they never knew that they could. I think AI will help turn your imagination into reality. If you haven't used ChatGPT or any of these models, I really encourage you to do it. It's really changed my life. And learning how you can apply it to your life, I think it's going to be the biggest important thing. How can I use AI to make what I do more meaningful and easier, right? Because when you do that, you can find out what is essential, what you're needed with, and what you're not, you know? I think it's just gonna make the world a much more efficient place. And I'm just so excited. And I think my goal with this video is just to empower people to learn and strive from their own curiosity. And to share with you, look, Einstein and Richard Feynman said that I have no special ta talents. It's just passionately curious, right? And I'm exactly the same. I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm next to them. I'm not anywhere near what they've done. But like, the point is to always be curious, always be striving to find the solutions to the world's problems and questioning the world, having wonder with the most beautiful thing that we're around in at the moment. And I think that's beautiful. And I hope that more people can use AI to learn better, just like it helped me in my dyslexia. I hope you took value from this video and thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.